I don't think we have a root. I guess not. We have an acrid mushroom. I don't think that counts. But I mean, if nothing else, we can try it if we need to. Okay, okay. I'm just um, looking for clues. Is there a way to reset this thing? Uh -huh. <laughs> Try casting the same spell again? Um, I can try it. That far vent over there just flashed. Yeah, I... I tried to open it. It said it wouldn't open. Uh, it does nothing. Alright, well, I'm saved. And we... We pretty much have what we need if this wastes time. So no, let's we're gonna we're gonna play here for a minute. Yeah, let's let's use the moss, which is the mint. Yeah. Let's use the sugar. And let's use what else was the what was the other bread? Oh, bread. Or yeast. Okay, and then let's try casting the spell. Wave the power, enter the contraption, and it hums to life. Hey, that looks a lot better. A thick fuchsia colored vapor from the valve seals the contraption. Now, how do I eat it? You think? Placing your lips over the valve, you inhale the sweet vapor. You are momentarily overcome with a taste of sugar before the concoction explodes in your mouth as you fall unceremoniously to the ground, rubbing your jaw and spewing out smoke. You can't help but think that this stuff need, <laughs> needs, a needs a little more board. kick. <laughs> <laughs> That's my man. How do we... like? I can try using the vial on this gas, but it's a gas. How do, how do we get the gas into, say, a liquid form, I guess? Uh, once, ice elemental, maybe? Once again, we don't know what we're doing. Should we go back to the library and see if there's something on alchemy? It, it honestly, it kind of helped us. Yeah. So, go, go on back. Yeah, I, I guess... I, I don't even know what I was doing. I just tried to use the door. I mean, technically, that's right, but... But... Yeah. It's not the Shadow Gateway. Okay, let's see here. Uh, scripture of Truth. Uh, potions and Remedies. Um, the first circle. Neat, but no thank you. Oral History of Architecture. Uh, Foul the Third. Here's a very thin book. Uh, History of Magics, 1500 to 2100. I don't know, man. Well, uh, it's a history. Yeah, but it might have something. So I'm going to begin reading the last paragraph. The initiation performed in the great circle nearest the entrance of the caves. Those present were solemn, knowing what was foretold. They faced Fendril the High. Oversaw a conjunction, pronounced blessings in the newly... So this doesn't actually tell us anything. It's... Tells us about the ritual. Yeah, all right, all right. Let's continue looking. Uh, experiments with social adjustment. machinations. <laughs> <laughs> um, metallurgy, no. Uh, history. And uh, I don't, I don't even fucking know. Uh, Tiris Hadlier. Uh, Sp Spiritus Elementus. Hmm. Might be worth reading. We've encountered three or four <laughs> elementals so far. Yeah. Faded leather. Uh, difficult to read. Spirit in corporeal form can be controlled by a practitioner of the arts. The most common of these familiars from the elemental world, the servant once mastered will remain loyal even after death. They are 
primarily benign if left alone, subtly portraying aggressive behaviors if handled with respect and are creatures of habit, often returning to places they were acquainted with. Look like death warmed over. Yeah, I'm, we're, we're doing it, York. Thank you for your help. <laughs> uh, seances. Mm. L Legend of bullshittery. Uh, the Heart of the Steps. The Sailor's Way. Uh, the Reign of Some Ass Hat. The Collection of This <laughs> Stuff. Uh, father, collection of rhymes and poems. Tempting, no. Uh, potent for the Immortals. Requiem for the Count of Cagliostro, which is more anime. Um, the Tale of Ward Elder. Inventor, in invention. Hmm. Not quite what I'm looking for. Never ending puzzle. Castle of Danger. Uh, it's it's kind of funny. We're going. We're we're here again for a completely different reason. <laughs> it's just nuts to me. Yeah. Deldone saws. Huh. <coughs> this might be that might be the only hint we're getting from this bookcase. Wait, what was this again? This book is blank except for three intertwined circles that are offset from each other. Now let's open it up and see if it shows us the circles. Conformity, contrivances, completeness. Your head throbs as your mind, perhaps your spirit is trying to comprehend the important truth. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel when I read the Dampada too, so, so let's see here. <laughs> Hey, some of that early Buddhist shit is, like, real simple. Like, he, he wanted to lay down stupidly simple foundations. Like, if you're an idiot, you're going to have a bad time. Let me explain that in three different ways. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but some of it is, like, some pretty powerful truths that you don't want to face like someday you'll die and which is simple but you don't want to think about it right it's not the happiest thought no it's not the happiest thought but it's more of like if you're going to plan for the future d decide now what what is exactly the future you're planning for that kind of thing there's there's all kinds of little things like that you're simply unable to read the title of this book uh, i think that's the only hint we're going to get which is unfortunate. Well. Yeah. So the other thing to do okay, is I'm, to... I'm uh, the book. They're all the same. Um, they have we, we take notes and we try different recipes. I, I guess. all Well, it's not the recipes. Like, what do we do? What do we do after the recipe? I'll all have illustrations of cats with random, encouraging, yet trite sayings that spell spelled out beneath. I found a book on memes. No. Well, <laughs> wizards invented everything, apparently. Wizards did it. And a complex <coughs> system of ropes and pulleys. Which is an in-joke for, wow, a group of friends that aren't here. Fuck. Sorry. We, we would watch... It used to be that every year... At, on New Year's Day, we would watch the entire extended edition, 11-hour cut of all three Lord of the Rings movies. And we have a oh, series wow. of things we would say, like, you know, why would Frodo do this? And to which we would answer, wizards, or a complex system of ropes and pulleys. Yep. And that would just be our answer for everything. So, okay, okay. That was a waste of time. <laughs> kind of. I, I think we got a little bit of stuff out of it, but... So how about, since we're just bullshitting, let's release the fire elemental. This probably won't work. And use uh, the empty orb on the gas. Yeah. No. Nope. No. <laughs> uh, 
Have we ever used the close button? What if we try and close the machine? Turn around with the opening, but you are unable to close it. Bless you. Bah. Map. Blag. Where have we seen Root? The only thing I can think of is at the very beginning of the game, there was a Root I had to cut in order to get a helmet. No, those were vines, not Roots. Mm. And whenever I think of a... In, in, a, in a food or... Um, ingredients... Uh, uh, connotation... I would think of a bitter root as being like a, uh, a maybe not a beet, but uh, <clears throat> a tuber of some kind. Um, yeah, that makes sense. So let's see here. I mean, we can't make this again. I only had the one bread, but we've also got like fucking a, a, a nice save, so we're, we're fine. Yeah. special about this vial uh, the vial is unremarkable in nearly every way eh. just in case no I don't think we have to contain it I mean we can just eat it we've proven that twice yeah well, I've, I've eaten it and all I've discovered is that it needs some more kick well I, I think we have the wrong recipe I think we're on the right track for something here. Now, I don't know what. So what was the second recipe? Bitter root and what else? Rat skull and salt water. Okay. A little bit difficult. Salt water. Uh, we don't have salt yet, so... We have water, but we don't have salt. Hang on a second. Wasn't there a uh, fountain that had brackish water? Um, it's no, in it one had of dirty the water, water, I think. It had dirty water, okay. Well, I mean, let's, hang on, hang on. Let's see, not the North Tower. It was the West Tower. Yep. So I have to remember which way is to the West Tower. Okay. <clears throat> uh, discolored water attached to the wall. Eat it. Scoop out a handful of water and Work. slurp it. Slurp tapes of iron ass. It's it's iron. Irony. Hmm. What about the lake? They would make us go all the way back there. Yeah, it did have a sea monster in it, so it might be salty. Except it's frozen. Don't don't make don't make me replay the entire game again. <laughs> no, but it what? it thaws after a while. Does it? Yeah, it does. I tell you what, I'm salty. I mean, like this is normal though for this kind of game. A, a mist like. No. Oh my God! What the fuck does this lever do? Well, I mean, mist had clues of how the mechanics worked. These games have famously been terrible about clues. Oh, hey, look at that. Yeah. Did we ask York while we were in that room anything? Could have. It tastes terrible. Why does it taste terrible? You asshole. Salt. 
Well, you'd better be paying attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to take a look at this water. Is it just labeled as water? Yeah, it's just water. So no salt water, per se. I'm reloading. <laughs> well, shit. If I reload, that comes with a lot of stuff that comes with that, right? I mean, most of it was we went to the library and we fiddled around with the alchemy machine. Mm. Oh, and we went to the top of one of the towers and we... Uh, Saw the wyvern, yeah. No, but we made it bright enough that we could see the stone in the floor that we needed to open. And totally on accident. Yeah. That, that's another yeah. thing that, that bugged me. That was completely accidental. Yeah, there's been a lot of accidental, like, we, we found the hook because we were spiteful. We figured out how to deal with, actually, you know what, uh, going through this again, I did die once. On the second goblin, I punched him and I broke my hand on his helmet because I wasn't wearing the gauntlet. The gauntlet. So accidentally, Yeah, I... that's, that's what I said, was it was because we had the gauntlet, that's why we could punch him. Ah. Uh. So there have been a couple of accidents in here, but it's not all accidental, right? I mean, we did look through the books and get the ingredients that way. Otherwise, it would have been just, like, randomly trying shit. Yeah. Well, also, and, and we, we had the previous game to pull a little bit from. That's true, and that was a lot of built-up work. I mean, the entire reason I wanted to play this game is because I had really good memories of get, us getting frustrated at it. <laughs> Um, but uh, again, even the original Shadowgate was terrible about hints and clues. Yeah, until you basically know what you're doing, and then it's like, oh, that's what that really overly subtle hint meant. Right. The hints that they did give you were still awful. I mean, I don't. I don't mean to bitch about it. This, th these games have given me good times. I'm not. I'm not. No, no. It's to... it's a legitimate <laughs> problem. Yeah, it's it's a legitimate complaint. I feel. Oh shit! Are I'm you thinking a... about the moat too? N no, I'm. Moat. What? Oh, no, wait. The moat was full of mud. Never mind. Fuck. Ah, I think the Banshee's gonna get us before we figure this out. <clears throat> Look at this. Hang on. Length of root. Vaguely in the letter S. Yeah, apparently it is root. Oh, all right. Shit. I can see that this music is just as annoying as the original Nintendo music. Yeah. Let me look at this. Strangely, like I can eat it. It, it would find out if it's bitter or not. So that just means we're missing brackish water. Yep. Let's try it. Yep. Iron taste of blood in your mouth. Begin. Yeah, we're we're starting to succumb to the curse. We've got like maybe two more. And these these last bits come on quickly, so we still gonna die? <laughs> oh, definitely. Let's see if we can make it back.
All right. Let's give this a try. Root. Water. And what was the third one? Oh, that's right. Rat skull. Give her a mix. <laughs> I can feel her. She's afraid of what's coming. Interesting. <clears throat> Where the power enters the contraption, hums to life. It gave me black. Yep. I figured we'd need salt first. Beck, where are we going to find salt? My salty tears, probably. You know what? Tears sounds about right. Hang on a second. That's what does this taste like? <laughs> Pop the flower in your mouth and chew. The bitterness of the green mixes with the sweetness of the petals. Oh, well. Meat raw, sugar, pumpkin, which is probably used for some. Hey, it's Lightning Hound. What is this game about? Screaming at it. <laughs> Frustration. <laughs> this game is about three hours long. No, we've been playing for longer than three hours. Holy shit. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah this, this is day three. Yeah, this this game has gone on for uh, it's probably going to be over nine hours, which is huge for an adventure game. Honestly, as simple as this, but it's been kicking our ass left and right. We have to rub one thing against another and hope that we get a a result. No. Yeah. Salt. I mean, they've already screwed us, right? I've already screwed us. One of these games where you find the wrong door and die? Yep, that's exactly the correct kind of game you're, that we're talking about. It feels like it's been a bit less like that than the original Shadowgate. I mean, we weren't able to just pop open a mirror and explode. Yeah. Or get randomly sucked out into space. Yeah. <laughs> or or drop down a trap door and die. None of this has happened. I guess they've modernized it a little bit, because honestly it yeah. would be pretty rude to do that. And they made it bigger somehow. Made it much bigger. Hey, we have a scroll we haven't opened. Who wants it? That'll be Doom Lad. Alright, Doom Lad, read on. You read the hastily scrawled message written on the scroll. I entrust my task to you, my friend. The one weapon that we cannot have the enemy lay his hands upon is the Black Axe. This item feeds off both fear and evil, and I believe that it would wreak such havoc on what remains of our defenses. Alas, I know not where it lies, but it is rumored to have been struck down the great worm Anatlon. Begin your search in the grottoes. Uh, I guess we haven't actually tried the... What, what is a grotto? I don't know. I don't think we've seen one yet. It's yeah, like kind of a cavey place or with water and... Yeah. Trapdoor activates, gets like five seconds where the character looks at the camera. Oh, bo oh, <laughs> oh bother. Before plummeting to the bottom, yeah. Bother. Harry Bother. I thought there was four towers. 
Nope, there's only three. Um, maybe a tower you haven't gone into yet in this run through. I mean, it's laid out like there's only three. Well, we're gonna die pretty soon. I don't have any other keys, do I? I got this fucking key. Wrought yeah. iron key, half handle length, and pitted throughout. I don't think I've ever used it. There's only one locked door. Nice. That was a hell of a thing. Any idea what made that happen? I don't know why it didn't work before. Yeah. It's an elemental How did light. we get here? Okay. I have a lightning elemental. So we know that works, I guess. Yeah. Oh, maybe it maybe it required power, like the alchemy machine or something. Aha! Uh -huh. That might be it. I have lightning. Now what? I haven't the foggiest. Uh, I know we needed the fire elemental for that one room. Uh, it's got the picture of the horn. I'm positive the horn is in there. Hey, you know what we haven't done? And I should probably reload before I do this. Because we've already, uh -huh. we, we've already established this, this is death. We yeah. didn't take a close enough look at the music room. Because the music room where we died last time. And I've played back up to this point. So let me reload. Because this is, this, we're, th this is dead. This is a dead We're thing. dead. Yeah, we're dead. Uh, so let me see. It should be this one. Now, a lot has changed here, but we also got a lot more information now. Just make sure we're up to date. Okay, yeah, we're missing a lot of shit. Okay. Nope. Okay. There we go. Open that. Open that. Oh, how are we on spells? We're missing one. We're missing that rainbow spell. Yep. Well, that's out in the uh, tower. I think. Well, not the tower, but the uh, place through the mirror. Yeah, you're right. Um, hmm. Let me also do this real quick. Okay, there goes the moon. We back up to the banquet hall again. We get this. Take this. And now we know how the mirrors work, so that's a little bit different. Yeah. Got an idea. Oh! Nice. Who is Mr. Clever? Yeah. What have you done? <laughs> he flashed the invisible room into existence. Picture the glass. Flumorous. Fl fl flum flumorous. 
The flash bathes the room in brilliant white before a strange, wavering effect illuminates phantom objects. There must be a magical illusion at work here. Outside the window of flash of lightning. Oh yeah, well that, that happened. They fumble around trying to find something to interact with. What? What the hell is happening here? So... I can see stuff, but I can't interact with it. Weird. I'll um, try grabbing the torches off the wall. Uh, are there... Oh yeah, there are. Grabbing hold of the torch and putting it in your pack. What was that spell called? Uh, Flamoris? So, we got another one. Cap, I think it's your turn. Flamoris made me think of Bandersnatch for some reason. So, Flamoris Bandersnatch! You alternate between blinking and rubbing <laughs> your eyes and sure to the disappearance of the object that had to do with your senses. Or the disabling effect of a spell. Weird. Here, Cap, read this. You read the words on the scroll. One particular word stands out from the rest. Barracks. In your mind's eye, you see the glyph glowing with power. As you quickly write down the strange markings in your spellbook, the scroll crumbles in your hands, and you have learned a new spell. You seem to be getting all the spells. Yeah. I'm a wizard, Harry. <laughs> uh, when you concentrate on this symbol, a dizzying array of colors confound your senses. The colors, children! Uh... Smoke this bowl! 